Okay, so I've got the um, blue-gray uh, down on the back of the cockpit. I've got the gray frame uh, put on and the little one underneath. You can just see that one there. I've also gone in and um, darkened, not darkened, but like put these um, gun sort of mounts. I've sprayed them down there. <clears throat> They're like a, a dark gray with a a light blue sort of misting over the top of them that seemed to work okay same on the bottom here so now i'm just looking at these the placement of these um where are they? the orange dots on the other side so oh sorry um i'm just working out the correct size for them i've got a circular template and the biggest one seems to seems to fit so i've laid out some masking tape on the um cutting mat and I've just literally gone around the biggest one with um, with the pencil and I'm going to cut that out now and that's going to be my mask for the orange dot on the top and bottom wings. Okay so I've got the masking tape on I had to actually cut the um, cut it both along the edge that way and then put two halves together and sort of put the yellow Tamiya tape to sort of seal it it's not a perfect circle but it, you'd think just Putting a circle on a <laughs> on a ship would be easy, but it's not, especially over that like big raised detail there. So um, again, props to Bill George for managing to just put a circle <laughs> on a model. Right, I went with um, Reefer Orange, nineteen seventy five Reefer Orange. I had uh, rust made up, and it was just too brown. That obviously looks really bright and harsh. Um, but that's before it's dulled down with the um, base coat misting and obviously in some weathering on top. Still could be too bright, I don't know yet. I'm almost too nervous to take off the mask in to see it sort of so harshly against the white, but um, I'll take that masking off now. Actually, I'm gonna do that off camera because I'm gonna try and reuse that template, so I'm gonna need two hands. Okay, that's come off, okay. But it's too small. <laughs> I've tried to sort of get it close as I can to the ref on the top so my sort of points of reference were the back was covered over and there was a little like area between this panel line and the edge which I sort of created but then on further inspection it actually goes down well I think it almost touches this circle but it's better that it's too small than too big because I can just mask that out again and just respray over it, and hopefully that'll um, uh, that'll be hidden. But um, there was also some mask on as well. Get rid of that. So um, yeah, um, not all's lost. I can redo that. Okay, take two. <laughs> I um, added a few drops of um, rust into the uh, <clears throat> into the mix as well because I just. Well, I had the chance, it did seem a little bit too bright. So one or two drops of rust into the mix and um, and it's a, it's a better color. So um, fingers crossed that comes off okay. Okay, that's come out all right. <laughs> it's not the best masking I've done. And it's like, it's important because it's such a vibrant color over a stark white base coat. You need it to, you, you can't get away with any sort of, um, fumbles on that but it's still too small but I'm, am i bothered <laughs> it's literally like one mil too small and too high so maybe that maybe it's not the smallness it's the fact that i've put it up too close to the blue because when you look at the ref there is a slight mark yep okay Am I going to just have to live with that one and <laughs> make the rest right? Or am I going to have to think of something else? I think option one, I think, live with it. Because with the weathering and everything down, no one's going to get their ruler out and start measuring that. The edges are horrendous. Yeah, that's... Yeah, maybe I'll go again on that. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have to mask that one out again. Okay, so I've just repainted it. <laughs> I wasn't happy with the fact that that was too close to that blue um, and being orange over white it was 
I was sort of um, panicking that I wasn't going to be able to cover and completely lose that orange, um, which I've managed to do, which is good. So to um, to destroy the harshness of that orange, I sprayed a light grey all over here, and not in a circle either, because that would just look like you just you know you'd get that shadow of a circle. So you can still see it's a bit grey here. So I just went over with the grey and that whole panel. I masked out all this and had that wing uh, tip covered. My, it was like a medium grey. I mixed some reefer light grey with some white grey and just just covered it with like a almost like a primer and that patch, <clears throat> and then let that dry and then went over with the reefer white again. It's it's not as good as it was, but you know, accidents happen, and this is just a way of trying to rectify that, um, which I think I've done. So now I'm going to leave that to cure and try again. Okay, success, <laughs> finally. <laughs> um, I still think that possibly is may be a bit big but I have lost the will to live now so I'm not going to bother about getting that any different I'm happy with that that's got that gap and on the reference you can see that there's this panel line literally has been scraped along like that so I can still do that and there'll be a gap um on the part on the ref this detail here which I think is kind of a f1 car that doesn't line up underneath it go there's like a it literally goes across and there's a half shape of the the crescent of the uh the, the orange circle there so it's not ever going to be perfect so um with the weathering and misting over the top of that i'll be more than happy okay it's starting to look a bit more like a b-wing now i've got the orange dot on there um down the bottom and on the underside um oh in these two little blocks here i've dropped a few uh, bits of uh, i think it was scarlet sp scarlet just to give it some more red they get um sort of brushed over with the reefer reefer white quite dramatically there's the there's them there so that gets i've really heavily misted or even dabbed with a sponge you could get that effect but yeah that's um that's getting to where i want it to be now um I'm just got to take this bit of mask off. When you're taking the mask off, excuse my paint-ridden fingers, put, always remove the mask into the paint area, not out onto the white, because <clears throat> you'll get, you'll rub the orange off onto the white. So there we go. So that's removed, and we have a red dot beaming. Now I've got to go around all the panels. There's like. I don't know if this is right, but around there, there's like panels that are um, masked off and like a light grey sort of mist has been applied. So I've got to go around and do that. So still masking and panelling to do yet. Okay, so all these panels are done now. These ones up here, down there, um, on the wing. Uh, don't know if there's any, or if I missed them on there. I'm not sure if there's any on the bottom one. I'll have to double check that. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, done that one up there and on the wings. So, yeah, finally I can stop masking <laughs> and move on to some weathering. Okay, so I'm on to the detail work now um, by hand, just trying to replicate as best I can what's going on with the studio model. So, I don't know if you can see, like all around here, there's like white dots, like grey dots. It's a really bad. The contrast is really high on the screen, it's difficult to see, but all around here. So I've mixed up a palette with Archive X, uh, Isle of Armour Grey, Engine Black and Aretha White. <coughs> and a little bottle of water just to dilute the paint. And I've got a palette of just what I can see is going on. Um, but I'll just quickly just make up, what that, make up a little bit now just to sort of give you an idea of what's going on this is very rough and rushed but there's um an area there and there that's chipped by hand so i'll just try and get that looking roughly similar just goes a bounce in the brush 
over the surface. And there's some stuff going on over here. And it's as simple as that. Um, and I'm going to go around and uh, <coughs> do that wherever there's chipping. Okay, so there's a bit more work done. Um, it's so haphazard and rough <laughs> when you look at the original, but you know that's what we're trying to replicate here. But um, what's interesting is there's literal pencil marks all the way down. You know that's the iron way of a panel wash. <laughs> is literally get your pencil and just run it down the panel line like they have done on the original. So. Yeah, it's all fun and games, trying to replicate their oddities that they do, but we love them. Okay, so I've um, been working on these wings and just trying to get all that haphazard, sort of rough, quick, dirty ILM sort of um, rush paint jobs. Uh, it's it's um, difficult because you you want it to be pristine and you want it to look um, neat and sort of um, weathered how you'd want to weather, weather it, but you just can't. If you're going to replicate a studio replica, which is, you know, people have put the time and effort in to get the model looking right, then I, in my opinion, and, and this is exactly how I want to do it, I want to make it feel like the paint job is replicated in that way too. Um, I haven't really done much over here, but so I haven't touched this cone either at the front. But my point is really that um, the paint job on the original was harsh. It was sort of, um, you could see it was done um, to serve a purpose, to get it to look ready for um, quick flybys and stuff, you know. So I've tried to replicate that in, in all this on the front here and it's um you don't want to you don't want to miss too heavy back on the base coat because it'll just look frosty at the end and you won't get that look it will just it won't look right and then you know literally going in with a pencil <laughs> drawing pencil lines on it just seems so strange but um that's what i'm seeing on uh, on the ref so uh this is how it stands at the moment and i'm, I'm enjoying it I, i'm enjoying this haphazard rough uh, take at it you know being a bit brutal going in with a brush a hand brush and just um it's it's different it is a different beast to the um, other island models it's, you know you can't paint it like an x-wing it doesn't work like that you need to um literally go in by hand and and be rough and ready with it there's also um even touch up paint well not touch up but chipping on the um on the areas that have been misted down so all around here this on the um on the original it's all been there should be bulbs in here i'm going to put some leds in there whether i get them to work or not i don't know but there's bulbs on the original and it's um just a case of dabbing the the brush around with the acrylics and just getting that feel of those added chip marks <laughs> 